So uh, really quickly, we're just gonna take a look around and I know you can't see behind this building right here. This is kind of the clubhouse area. They do have an, e, an exercise area and behind this building is the pool. And they also have kind of a exercise and clubhouse area. And so let's go ahead and go inside to this town home. It is three stories high. And as we go inside, it is a 1,273 square foot home with two bedrooms, two and a half baths. So obviously not everything that you see inside of model homes is going to be what you get, but inside of this one, they have a great feature wall right here and they offer a closet downstairs for jackets and such. And then you'll see, we'll go over and right here is going to be the garage that is on the bottom floor. So everything is basically upstairs. So we get to the first landing right here and although the lights are out, sorry about that folks, the, um, there is a half bath on this level right here for the main level. And so you do have to go up two stairs to the main level. And there we reach the great room. Let's take a really quick tour here. The kitchen, the dining area, and then the main living area. So let's go ahead and start over at the kitchen. It has a large island here. So we call this the breakfast dining area here with these stool chairs, they're actually chairs, usually you see stools, but they have three, totally can fit four here, easily, easily. So if you notice on the tiles here, so yes, this is a, a model home, it does have a little bit dirty floor, people are walking through here. Um, you'll see that they offer GE styled stainless steel here. They do have subway white tiles with gray grout here, which matches really well with the cabinetry. And you'll notice that the cabinetry will be the same throughout the home. The uh, hood and the gas range by GE. And again, I know I really like these gray with the combination of the tiles and the man-made countertops in just the classic white color stainless steel dishwashers and I like how they have matching even to the sink and one thing I've noticed that a lot of homes are having these days rather because this is the um, garbage disposal so you don't have to like find a switch somewhere it's right there so they do have a built-in microwave and then a small pantry area here for everything but you know what even though it seems like it's kind of small there's a lot of cabinets in this kitchen right here. So after going through the kitchen, and I actually really have to point out these really cute lights here over the breakfast area. Here we have the dining area and it is right off of the deck over here. Yep, the deck is probably suitable for two chairs or so has some beautiful morning it's about 10 30 this morning it has some great morning light and then we're gonna go over into the main living area this is where I would imagine that most people are just kind of resting watching TV hanging out and so you can see from the living area right over to the kitchen so if you're standing at the sink and you're wanting to watch TV you probably aren't gonna see the TV, but you'll hear it. But I still like it because it just seems like you're in the same room with everybody. And I love that about these new style of homes. So now let's go upstairs to the two bedrooms. So here we are at the top of the stairs. Here is some more storage for you know whatever books, um, some linens or anything like that. And then right upstairs here, 
They do have an area for a washer and dryer, but note that this is going to have to be a stackable washer and dryer. I do like that this is upstairs where the bedrooms are. Um, there is a model in this one that the washer and dryer is downstairs. And then you, I don't like that because you have to haul your laundry upstairs. Okay, so I have to tell you, this is an end unit and it is so much light. Here we go. There's one, two, three windows. And this is really probably about a 10, 10 by 10, 10 by 12 bedroom. And so obviously they have a, it's a good size closet, probably a eight foot long closet with sliding doors. But the one thing that they have, this is two and a half bedroom, I'm sorry, bathrooms, remember, is that this one has its own bathroom. It is a tub, a shower over tub, and there is a place to store your things and get ready. I like that. So it's almost like a little mini suite. It is a little bit smaller bedroom, but on the same token, you have your own bedroom up here. I'm sorry, your bathroom. And here we're gonna go into the master bedroom. It does have this feature wall. I've noticed that in a lot of the master bedrooms, they have this feature wall behind the bedroom. It is tiles, and I would say they're probably 12 by 24. That does not come standard, but it is a nice feature for your wall. So here we go. Here is the master bedroom. I would say it's probably one of the smaller master bedrooms. It's probably about 14 by 12, maybe 16 by 12. But if we go ahead and we turn around, that's the hallway where we came in. Here is the bathroom. And it does have dual vanity. And I do like that for when you're trying to get ready, you have two separate areas. Matching cabinetry again. The same tiles pretty much throughout when there's tiles. And this one does have a standing shower. And the Corian that's here is the same that is on the countertops here. Let's go ahead and go over into the master closet it is a good size closet it's definitely good you know good enough for his and hers this is a smaller model within this community and then again here we go here's the water closet they don't have the door on there will be a door there when you buy one of these model homes the one thing that i was thinking is that if you wanted a bath in the master or you just wanted to take a bath you are going to have to go over to this bedroom across the hall to use the bathtub. That's the downfall that I can see, but this one has the washer and dryer upstairs. Hey, thanks for touring this townhome with me today. It's a two bedroom, two and a half bath vertical townhouse. So if you'd like to see this home or any home within the San Francisco Bay Area that is a new build or in a new community, please feel free to call me or text me and I would love to be able to help you. If you'd like more information about where to find new homes in the San Francisco Bay Area or you're thinking about a new home, be sure to click this link. For more information on new homes, go to www.youreastbayliving.com where you can search for new homes and you can also download a guide for 10 reasons to buy new home construction. I'm Casey Serafino Lee. I live in the East Bay. I work in the East Bay and I love the East Bay and I want you to love where you live also. See you on the next one.